Well, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and I'm here today with Kova in another grand adventure of our survival series. Welcome to 2016! Oh, yeah, that's right, it's a new year, holy crap. I mean, it's like the end of January of 2016, we're a little late. I, I forgot I need to be spaceship blue. Sorry, sorry, priorities. <laughs> spaceship blue. Wait, what blue. are you doing? I'm changing my spaceship to spaceship blue. Changing your your space suit. Yeah. Now oh, I see. There we go. Wow, nice. Okay. Spaceship Very blue. nice. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to start off with this. We've been um, playing with things and experimenting and testing stuff. And we found these numbers, and we decided that we'd put them up here. Yes, these numbers are now here. These things. These counts. Well, you you kind of found them. Do you want to like explain uh, to me what they mean? Because I don't really know what they mean. They're like numbers, and I think this is words. Yeah, I mean, I'm hand pretty sure this is how you play tic tac toe. Item. I found a hand drill item. What's a hand drill item? Hand drill to item. I don't know. Hand drill item. <laughs> well, hand in all seriousness, we finally got a few scripts working. I l figured out how to use the script called Tailden's Inventory Manager. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. We'll Let's put find it in out. the description. Yes, yeah. Taladin's Inventory Manager. And I've got it set up so that we actually take active counts of what is currently in our inventory system. So up here, between these two screens, we have our components listed. Below that, we have our how many ingots we have listed. On the top right is all the ores that is currently being refined, or just in general in our, in our inventory. It doesn't necessarily mean it's being refined. Then lastly, because I didn't know what to use this last screen for, um, physical gun objects, or basically tools and weapons. And yeah, that is what I set up. I mean, I feel I was pretty productive. This is how many times I might have died <laughs> when it says that. So, um, yeah, this like this four right here. I'm pretty sure that's, that's uh, yeah. Where are you seeing four? I see five. I see a four at the angle grinder four item. I don't know how you're seeing that. Yeah. I see Says, a zero. I see zero zero six ten. What? Oh, you're looking at the quantity. I'm looking at the the name. Isn't that the um? How many? No. That's, Actually, I don't know what that means. That's the grinder level. So the advanced oh. grinders would be like item three and stuff. Oh, the tier oh. and stuff. Elder. But we don't have anything that are different tiers. Oh, I see. B because duh. they're all at basic <laughs> level. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay. That's not how many times you... Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. My bad. My bad. Okay, now anyway. that we got that sorted out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me climb um, this thing. Base is somewhat charged. Some of the other stuff we did. How much charge do I have on me? Eh, enough. Um... So we're going to move stuff into these large containers and we have to label them correctly for them to rearrange everything. Yeah. And underneath I put down bits for two reactors and another large container so they're kind of all hidden and stuff. Our hydrogen is still slowly chucking away, we need to get more ice. Um, what and also done is on a, ramp. sorry, really quick side note regarding yeah. the hydrogen. Large hydrogen tanks now fill small grid hydrogen tanks. Probably Which makes so much of a major difference to things. And with that in mind, one of the things that we're going to be doing today is uh, creating what is known as Dory, one of my small ships meant for hauling cargo into space. Yes, uh, the intent is to get to that point and then place something right up there in the big blue. It's not really blue right now. It's kind of blue. Eh, yeah. it's pretty blue. I mean, with a with Mars right there at the sun. Kind of, yeah. The other thing we did is I put up a scaffold here to basically double our solar production. So we have, like, tons of solar. In addition to having those reactors that we're going to have. Um, just because we want to make sure we can charge everything up super quick. Um, but... One of the first things we were thinking of doing was um, this atmospheric lander that we have here. We want to tidy up the hut, but we want to get rid of that. Yeah, so we want to get over there and see what that's all about. 
So um, I don't remember what happened when I died that time, but uh, we're going to go there. Let me turn off home base because we've got the... Um... Alright, I am ready. Okay, starting up Nemo. Making sure all the thrusters are working really quick. You do realize there is a thing spinning right under me. Oh yeah, it wasn't spinning before, was it? No. <laughs> this yeah, is... just don't don't get too relaxed. Just make sure your feet aren't, you know, touching the blades. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. never mind the suction of them. Oh, hello, no, bug. That would be more like the blowingness. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, that would be suction. That would suction, be suction, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be heading straight over there, seeing what that lander's all about. What's your actual fuel time? Um. Well, that's because I'm using upward thrust, right? Okay, just checking. So as long as I'm like at max thrust, we have 16 minutes. But once we get moving above these mountains, we should be okay. And we do have a decent amount of storage. That's good. Yeah, one medium container plus. Ah, uh, I forgot. Knackers. I know what we forgot to do. But what? What do we do? Oh, yeah, I just realized that too. Okay, let's Unless go back. Unless we, we get lucky and we find some stuff over there to do it. Uh. Technically, we could if we have reactor components we could take. I don't Assuming... know if there's a reactor left there. Yeah, hold on. Let's let's head back really quick. By because the way, reactor this is, components this is where have we silver. Live. We live in the desert. Yeah. And... We have a water source with some trees. Yeah, Dead trees. I don't like that tree. Oh wait, is it gone now? <gasps> that tree's gone. Hey, we could actually build. Wait, you're talking about this tree no, here? No, the other tree. The other tree. Um, you, okay. you're flying funny there. Okay. Alright, we decided we were going to actually use the new tools, because we need new tools. Right. Because if we're going to be disassembling anything, we really should make it a lot faster to do. Yep. Uh, production. Assembler uh, grinder, elite grinder, yes. No, not least platinum. We need the proficients. Okay, we're making two of them. Do Sweet. we want to make more than two? Let's make a spare one just in case. Yeah, just a spare one. I'm taking that one. Yeah. Open in tools, no character tools. There we go. Yeah, it's purple. Look at that. Or is that? No, that's purple, right? Uh, I don't know. I've got to put mine on my thing first. Ah, G menu load slow. Why is G menu slow to load? Open to uh, character tools. <laughs> Wait, grind me really quick. Just like, just for a second, like less than a second, like split second. You look really sweaty, man. Like, you have to take care of that that issue you got there. It's like you're on shrooms almost. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, I don't let's, go, wanna let's go do our job. Grind you, that just seems weird. Stop grinding me. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Did we actually oh. fuel up or did we lose yeah, fuel? Yeah, yeah, it's fueled up. Yeah, it's at, it was at max fuel when we landed, or when we took off just now. Okay, that's, that's We're good. fine. Okay. Now we are on a grand adventure. Now I'm going to make this a little more fun. I'm going to do a little bit of low level flying. Are you a zombie? What? Why, am I dead? Yeah. <sighs> Not sure why that's happening. That sigh was very zombie like. Boom. I don't know what that was, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Minecraft zombie. <laughs> I have zoomed out. Yeah, we have an hour of flight the way it is right now. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't, like, build up here. It would have been a pain in the ass to get up and down. By the way, what's the range on the antenna again? Um, I don't know. How close are we to base right now? M more than 5k. Oh. Um. Well. Uh. What's the range on your antenna? Should be 5k. I just yeah. said it. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I've got off a base on my. GPS we don't have a remote control block there. That's what we need to build when we get back. 
Oh yeah, that's a good point. Otherwise I couldn't have gone in there and actually remotely updated the thing. Nemo's okay. on a grand adventure. Yep. Not to find his dad, no. Can you imagine, like, one day there's, like, I don't know, African, like, am animals where you see lions and tigers and bears because... And Nemo flying over them. Yeah, just watching him run across the ground. Well, there are these, like, dog-like creatures. That is true. And they recently stopped exploding. This is true, too. Although I don't think we're quite set up for those. Yeah. They gnaw at platforms. Yeah, and we didn't build expecting that as a thing. Mm hmm If that was a thing, we would have built very differently. Probably out the side of a cliff or on top of a plateau. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what solution we'd be able to have for that, because I also don't know if they spawn on our own structures if they happen to be big enough. I hope not. That would, that would be the only saving grace we'd have. Right. That means we would have to build small. Which I personally don't mind. You know me. Uh, it's fine by me. Um, well, yes and no, we'd need landing platforms. Especially if it's going to be above ground and all the ships that have to land have to be above ground. So we'd have that anyway. We just have to make sure that um, either A, if we're using voxels, we have more than one strut. Uh huh. Um, or B, if we're using station mode, then we don't. Uh, then it doesn't actually matter. We can actually build, like, flying. The whole base could technically be floating off the ground, which is kind of cheaty and not so cool. Right. Uh, Are you getting a bit of stuttering as we fly over these mountains and stuff? I was about I like to they... say that there's a bit of desync going on, but maybe it was happening for you, and that's like gameness. Yeah. I thought they fixed this a while ago, but I guess it always comes back whenever they make changes, but it it's between updates, it usually flips between really f smooth flying over you know, over trees and mountains, and then all of a sudden it starts getting really stuttery and jumpy like this. I'm wondering if it's because it's unloaded chunks. Maybe. Because we've not been in here. Um... You have no assembly abilities. I was pondering making very small, um, like, I say small, small large ship vehicles, where all it is is like a cockpit, a battery, and like an assembler. Hmm. And like an arc furnace or something? I was more, actually, I was thinking of doing a number, like a small fleet of vehicles, which basically have like one feature each. Mm hmm. Um, just for fun. That way there's a purpose to each vehicle, they all complement each other. Yeah, like one's just purely an assembler, one might have um, uh, two arc uh, assembler and probably two, um, okay, there'll be two copies at the front, followed by, um, ah, shoot, annoyingly cockpits would need inventory to make them work, so, yeah, um, I don't know, I think I've got to think about that. Yeah, I think it'd be a cool idea. Because we always tend to build things that is like a jack of all trades. It's capable of doing everything kind of thing. But really that should be reserved for like bases or motherships or something. In survival, having multi-use things is much more useful. Yeah, that is true. I've also noticed a problem with Nemo. What's that? Uh, switch to looking at the rear view. Uh, what, what looks off apart from the blue guy? What do you mean? The rear view of Nemo. Look at his butt. Yeah, look at his butt. Okay. One's orange, one's grey. One is orange and one is grey? His butt buttons. Of what? Oh, his buttons. Ah. <laughs> Stop pointing out his <laughs> imperfections, damn it. No, I'm pointing out uh, a place he can improve. Don't worry, we'll be building a second Nemo pretty soon, and this time off a of blueprint, so it's the most current version I've got. Oh, and we're almost there. We're Ooh, overlooking lake. a lake. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Did, does yeah. Nemo have, he does have forward spotlights, okay. Yes. Maybe uh, we spotlights should have left look so much better now. No, actually, if traveling during night would have been a bad thing. I'm glad we didn't travel during the night. Because all these mountains. 
mountains. They need a night vision mode, like a block that enables night vision. Yeah, so that'd be kind of cool. When you're in a cockpit, you could just switch to like IR <laughs> or something. Imagine if like a server mod or someone like just suddenly switches it to daytime for them. Well, no, it would be a block that is like a sensor that does that. Uh, no, I mean like a computer block and a sensor, so you'd need to have the IR sensor that is forward looking. Um, oh god, I just turned around and suddenly everything's dark. Yeah, it's super dark now. Um, I'm just gonna wait till I. Oh, I see the uh, what's called the ship now. So I'm gonna start slowing down. Are your spotlights on max. Can I turn your spotlights up? Yeah, go for it. Um, radius and intensity. And all of them have been maxed out. All right. Let's see how bad the damage is on this guy. Do you recall this thing at all? Like, what what can we anticipate from this? It was blue. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's good. You might want to be a little closer to to it. To oh, like, wow. come down. Oh, I think like there there were trees nearby, and I think that's the reason why it's on a funny sided thing. Oh, uh, I, I see your your crater marks. Are we sure uh, this was one of mine? Uh, yeah, actually, it's probably one of mine. I can see how I landed it. Yeah. Because you know how you are with flying. I also don't know where I'm. Okay, I'm parked. That's great. Um, What's up? Um, what are you doing? Get out of seat button again. T? Oh, there we go. I, I wasn't pressing T enough times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. We've got thrusters, we've got two batteries, which we can't really do anything with. No refinery. We have one reactor, that's good. What is it going um, downhill in case gyro. actually... Oh, can you get to the inventory? Is there anything in there? Uh, sure, one sec. Okay, the small lake down Oh yeah, we still got the inventory. I'm taking whatever I can really quick. And dumping it in Nemo. Just making sure that nothing has fallen out. That happens sometimes. Nope. Okay, not good. Wait, where are you over there for? I was checking in case anything fell out. Oh, I see. Yeah, we got all the inventory available to us. Right. I am leaning towards just scrapping the battery. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. I don't think we can drag that with back with us pretty easily. Maybe we probably, one. Well, maybe two actually. There's two that we can detach that are close together. Just keep in mind, I I can only fit one on the front landing gear. If I try it on the back landing gear, I risk frying them with the thrusters. Okay, there's a grey sloped block. Don't kill that one. Okay. Gonna try and detach it from everything else now. Oh, hello, it's moving. I, I, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Whoa. <laughs> what Whoa. did you do? I just killed <laughs> two blocks. Okay, we're good. As long as it doesn't roll in the direction of the ship. Okay, I detached the batteries. I'm gonna go and start working on that and uh, an antenna. Okay, I'm still moving the inventory. Roof. Ow. Make sure I get all this before you start destroying everything. <laughs> destroy every Why are you landed on, on the edge of a crater? Because it's uphill. And I could still reach the conveyor system without... without having to fly. See, I had reasons for this. Really? You, you planned it that way? Yes, I planned it that way. Okay. It's totally on purpose. Eh. Nope, that's full. Rearrange stuff from Yeah, I'm, you can put it in the basic one now. The, the connector. The real cargo? The, oh, okay. No, I'm moving the connector. I'm just moving stuff now. Okay. Uh, I was going to ask why we had a whole a bunch of ammo in there, and then I realized you just found the ammo. Yeah. Not in your back. Why, why would there be ammo in your back? Why ever? Alright. 
You did take the uranium out of the reactor first, yeah, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It's okay, just not learning from experience is bad. <laughs> Though I think it automatically gets sent to your inventory now. I haven't actually confirmed that yet, but... Let's um, not test that the bad way. <laughs> okay, got that. You know you can just hit hide empty and then the medium container is automatically selected and you just double click everything to move it straight to it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I what I do is I just type in car and then move it over it to that. It just saves time. Yeah. Also, I've run out of hydrogen so I can't grab hmm. the thing anymore from the top. Alright, let me get to the top then. Wait, what do you need from the top? I was disassembling the... Um, Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on the top a little bit. Also, I've disconnected the wrong battery, but... <laughs> Just killing the blue pipe. Oh, hello. That that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Uh, no hydrogen. Oh, no. Why am I moving still? Because <laughs> ah! <laughs> the ship is still moving? What a wreck, I should say. Okay. We are both officially out of hydrogen. All right. Alright, I'm gonna take down. Ah, I can't. I don't have any hydrogen. Damn it. <laughs> Should we actually think of flying this back during the daylight hours? Yeah, I mean, I figure it'll be closer to daylight when, uh, when we're done with this. Well, at least luckily, steel plate. Luckily, armor blocks are, uh, are basically giant pillows that hit you in the face. Pillows, he says. Pillows, right. A pillow oh, fight one that's day. up. That's up. Heads up. Move out of the way. Whoa! whoa, whoa what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> I'm trying to do work here. Can you at least turn off that LCD panel? It's uncomfortable with it. Like, hold on. I'm trying to. I'm trying to correct things here. There we go. That's better. You're rolling it towards the ship. No, no. It's that's uphill. I can't roll that way. At least. So uh, glad we didn't build things with wheels and try driving to this. Yeah, I know, that right? The terrain we would have gone over. It would have taken like an God. hour plus to drive here. At least. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. You know, we do have extra parts. We could probably build like um, a strut coming out of Nemo, and attach <laughs> other landing gear to that. Yeah, we could, actually. As long as you have construction components. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should have some of those around. And Yeah, yeah we should have plenty, actually. Well, I just took some from the door, so yeah. My only worry is that uh, on top of having cargo, there's also going to be exterior mass to deal with, you know? So I don't know how well Nemo will fly with too many things attached to him. Well, as long as we can get off the ground, we can test it. Yeah. And then if it doesn't work, we just don't know. Or, ah, yeah, that's true. Oh, myself. and I'm full. Yeah, full try you get? hit hide empty when you do it, and just start double clicking from your inventory to get everything out. Okay. Uh, the oh, medium yeah, container's works. full, actually. Oh, so. Yeah, it's full. Uh, never mind. So connector it is. I'm gonna use the other connector. So how did you want to move these batteries back to base? Did you want to merge them or something? We could actually. I was, didn't think of that. Um, actually, do we even need them anymore? Not really. Not particularly. How I mean, far are we from base? Um, actually, you can't see the thing because we we obviously didn't put the thing up to... No, I have GPS. We are 36. Uh, closer to 37k away. You know what? Should we actually build um, an antenna over here? Oh, where's and, that? And we can move one of these back.